So let's review the best way to access Wolf Den for your student portal. If you go to the Newberry College website, which is located at www.newberry.edu, you will come to the home page which you are seeing right now. Up at the top, you have Wolf Den. So you can click on, you also have a mobile Wolf Den. So if you're accessing this from your phone and you would like to jump in and check your course, it's best to use mobile Wolf Den. However, you may not have access to all of your course features using mobile Wolf Den. So it would be best to click on the Wolf Den link. So once you click on the Wolf Den link, you will have a new window that will open up and this is the Newberry College Wolf Den home page. Now there are a few things that you can see without logging in. This is available to the general public in order to access specific information pertaining to you and your courses, you will need to log in. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Now that you have logged into Wolf Den, I would like to point out we have a home tab in this gray bar that runs across the top. So this is where the main tabs are going to be located. This is the left hand navigation panel and then this is a two column layout where you will see information in the left column and more information in the right column. So your home tab is going to be what you see as soon as you log into Wolfden. Your coursework and your classes will be located under the Academics tab. So if we click on the Academics tab, again your view is going to change a little bit. You will have information in the left navigation panel, which is on this side of the screen. And then again you are going to have a uh, left column and a right column of where you can find information. So under your academics tab, any courses that you are enrolled in will be located under all my courses. If you want to see past courses or future courses, you can click on past courses or future courses to see the courses that you are registered for and that you have already taken. So all of your classes will be located under all my courses. I also want to point out this section right here. This is underneath the tabs in the gray header. This is what we call a breadcrumb trail. So what you do not want to do is press the back button in your browser. Instead, you want to use the breadcrumb trail to go back or you can click on any of the live links on the left hand navigation panel. So I'm going to go back to the academics tab by clicking academics under the breadcrumb trail. Now I'm back at my home academics screen. As you are making progress in your course, once midterm grades are reported and then you've finished your classes or a class or two as you are making progress through your academic program, you can click on the grade report and you can see your report. I do encourage you to peruse through all of these areas. You have various items underneath the admissions tab that you are familiar with. For those students who are enrolled in the Newberry online program, which means you are in the accelerated courses that run seven and a half weeks with subterms within a semester or a trimester, there's important information for you here. If you are a traditional student, you will not see this tab. So even if you are a traditional student and you're taking an online class, that is not the same as being enrolled in a Newberry College online program. We have also the technology tab for your information with the Office of Campus Technology. They are located in Wright Hall on campus. Their hours are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and this is their phone number. So all students can contact the Campus Technology Office for questions about passwords, logging in, Office 365, and any Wolfed In issues. Over here we have the Office of Campus Technology staff. 
and their appropriate email addresses. So again, if you need any information from them, you can email them or you can call them at this number listed. For those of you utilizing financial aid, there is a finance tab and any information under the finance tab will be applicable to your account with financial aid. So make sure you are familiar with the items under the finances. We also have the educational services tab. This is where the educational services, which includes the Center for Student Success, Diversity Education, Wessels Library, any type of educational services, and any kind of student request for academic accommodations. Um, as you can see on the left navigation panel here, we have links to all of those items. Um, for instance, if we click on the Center for Student Success, you will get to see all of the information and learn about this here. So if we click on Wessels Library, there is also information here that will take you through various types of study halls, what are the library hours. Um, again, for the fully online students, if you are near, near the campus, you can always come on campus at any time you would like. I encourage each of you to explore all of your tabs that are available to you. Again, if you have any questions about where to go to access a particular type of information, please reach out to your instructor or your student advisor. Thank you.